everyone. I think it was about time that I did an updated colouring supplies collection. So I've took everything off the bookshelf. I've got my colouring cart, uh, but I will start with the bookshelf first. So I'll start off with the um, the full leather case that I've got. I will add a clip in here and show you what I'm talking about. We'll start off with the colouring cart that I've recently got. I absolutely love it. I literally pull it from here and pop it near my dining table to work. So it's basically pencils, sharpeners, anything to do with blending. My nicer gel pens and glitter pens. Uh, blending solution. I've got oil pastels, soft pastels, uh, neo color twos. More gel pens, more pencils. All of my alcohol markers and my budget friendly pencils are in there. All the rest of my supplies are literally in my big shelf. So I will go through all these separately as well. Just a quick, I will go through them. Uh, bits and bobs in there. Um, gesso, clear gesso, my water for painting. Yeah, and that's all my books. So I will go through it separately in the next bit. Yeah, so I'll just take that down, pop it at the side of me to make it a little bit easier for me to show you. I'll probably do it the same as before and just take each shelf out. So I've got my ink tents, just the 12 set, just to try them out. I've literally just been using them on backgrounds. I do prefer the pencils over these, but I'm glad that I do have them. I've got two sets of the Ganzai Tambi uh, watercolours, pearl colours and starry colours. These are beautiful. Everybody knows about these. Really affordable prices as well. I think for the price of two of these, you could get one of the fine techs, so it's a great deal for them. My beloved colour sticks from Jane Davenport. I've harped on enough about these, I think. <laughs> They're super duper blendable. Fabulous. Over the top of pencils, great. So I've kept some of my cards as well here that I've got from Etsy. So I'll just move them out of the way. Gelatos. So I've just got a small set here. Again, I love these just as much as the Jane Davenport's and they work fabulously over coloured pencil. Uh, that's empty that now. I'm terrible for keeping all the things though. This is a wrong Neo Colour 1. I wanted the Neo Colour 2 and they sent me a number 1. So it's just living in here on its own. I wasn't prepared with the name of these. I will I will put everything in the description. But I did get these from Etsy. I think it's GD Colouring, I think. So these are the starry colours. They're not going to show up as beautiful because it's a really gloomy day. But I have done a separate review on these if you're interested. And I did buy the tin from her as well. The tin on its own was about £2.50. And you get the little... Uh, the squeezy applicator for the water. Uh, KJ Designs by Karen. Again, these are from Etsy. Uh, watercolours. Again, beautiful, beautiful watercolours. I can't recommend these enough. Again, I will link everything uh, down below that I can, that I can find links for anywhere. So yeah, that's the first draw. I'm gonna have to Move everything out of the way, I think, before I can get anything else out. So, my second drawer, I've got all my Poscas, which the majority of these, to be totally honest, are my son's, but he doesn't use them anymore. I've got a Lamouche um, colourless blender, that's the word, because I always end up losing it, so I keep it in here. I've got Distress Ink. So black suit, these came, these mini ones, in a little set. Uh, antique linen. I have got vintage photo and walnut stain. So yeah, so they came in a little set, so I'll just keep them upside down. So the ink sinks to the top. Yeah, that's right, to the top. And these two little app applicators separately. Stickles. I don't think I've added much, probably one or two to the collection since I last showed you. Uh, these are not all stickles. Uh, I think that's a majority of them, yeah. So the ones that I do have, I really want a pink one. 
I do have Icicle, uh, Stardust, Silver, Crystal, Black Diamond, Waterfall, I've used a lot of that as you can tell by the bottle, uh, Gold and Confetti. And then these other glitter glues, are they all the same brand? Dovecraft. So you can find these in Hobbycraft. I think, if I remember correctly, I found these ones in the pine shop. I don't know if they're named yet. Topaz, Ruby and Amethyst for them. And then the fabric glues. I've got yellow. What is that? This one hasn't got a name, which is a bit silly. Pink. Cream, blue, again no name but I imagine that would just be called purple, and black. So that's everything out of this drawer. I try and do keep them organised of a fashion but while I'm just doing this video I'll just have to plonk them in for now. This one is a bit of a chaos drawer to be honest. I have tried organising it but as Colourists and crafters know there's certain things that won't fit in drawers. So, basic circle stencil, more of a steampunk stencil. Got this one from Hobbycraft. Little heart stickers, very, very rarely use them to be honest. Um, these are all, these all came in one set from Amazon. I think it was about £8 for this set, but there is some. Really, really nice designs. Let me try and pick out my favourites. I like the dog, like the paw prints ones. The bricks, I think that'll be super interesting. Uh, what else is there? There's plants, squares, circles, hearts, flowers, more circles, more of a tiger print, more plants, more circles, roses, stars. That's a nice one. And that's a good one for Halloween that I've not even used yet. It's more like a blood splatters. And then tree bark. Yeah, they came all in a set together. So I've got two of the Windsor and Newton inks, basic gold and basic silver. God knows how many sharpeners are in here that I've used and just dislike. The two nail polishes that I sometimes use for background, an OPI one. And I think this one was a cheapy Britney, Britney Spears one that I got with a Christmas set that I've never used on my nails, but it works perfectly well in my colouring books. Washi tape. I've got washi tape loose as well in here. Right, so I've got washi tape, masking tape. Uh, there's rubbers, sharpeners that I wouldn't recommend really. These are the tags that I use for my whips and finished pages for the month. There's scissors, there's blades. Sharpies, reelers, there's basically all sorts in this one. I have tried organising it, but as soon as you pull something out, it just wrecks the rest of it. So I've sort of given up trying. <laughs> so we will move on to the next one. The next two are just going to be super duper similar. I've just put all of my Arteza acrylic paints in this drawer and the next drawer. I won't even bother showing the next drawer. It's literally identical, just got acrylic paint in it. I find this is probably easier. I think it will be a bit annoying when I'm looking for my colour chart um, and I'm looking for a specific colour, but that box was taking too much room up on my shelf. So I've took them all out and popped them in two separate drawers. So that's that one completely done. Just got a little basket, bits and bobs. Got my zest it. I really enjoy this night. I still really don't like the smell, but I'm enjoying using it. Got a random set of arts by Marielle the Budek. I've still not got rid of this. T terrible. Terrible. My heat gun for when I'm working on wet mediums. My old sharpener that I still do love, so I'm keeping, keeping that separate. Tissue paper for paint. Tags for finished pages. Pens, more sharpeners, buds, um, cotton swabs for my pastels, and this little light that I use occasionally for when I'm in bed and I want a colour. There's not really much going in there. 
and there's certain things that you can't organize i mean i'm trying my best with pop putting them in certain drawers and baskets but i mean where am i gonna fit that really and i don't want it on its side and the last things that i keep on my bookshelf i've got white gesso i've only used it once i've just primed a page i've not actually colored over it yet so i can't tell you how that is acting i've got clear gesso again the same i've just primed the page i think i put a little bit of alcohol marker over it to test it and it hasn't bled through so it does work it does work again this one was from amazon and the other one was from hobby craft and then i got some uh masking fluid i used this for the first time last night it works a treat i used it for a galaxy black background so i just dotted little bits of the product onto the page let it dry then went over with neos i mean it's very i don't know if the camera's going to pick it up very very water so that's just going to have to stand up on my shelf and my beloved dinosaur mug i just keep all my paint brushes aqua brushes so i've got a mixture of really cheapy ones that i just use for uh, work that i'm not too fussed about getting a perfect stroke i want it to be more messy i'll use these because the tips are terrible now i've got a set of three of the pentel water brushes they're good but they haven't lasted very long i do need to invest in another set of water brushes i think i'm going to get the arteza ones the one with the the buttons on and then one i always forget the name of this i think it's zig the very very fine tip one excellent brush so we'll move on now to everything that I've got in my colouring cart. So I think the best thing for me to do with the cart is do it tier by tier, just like the way that I did um, with the little the leather case, shelves rather. So I've got on the first shelf, the things that I reach for most often is on the top shelf. Ooh, if I can open it. That's the only thing that I don't like about this pencil case. There's so many zips. So I've got my gorgeous uh, Prismacolors. As you can see, some of them are getting a little bit small. I'm hoping, hoping to get some more for Christmas as backups. So yep, yeah, that's all the 150 set. And I think, if I'm looking now, I'm pretty sure that I've literally used, no, no, this one, the, the neon pink. I think that's the only one in the whole set that I have not used yet. I've used them all. Yep, so that's my Prismas. I did try putting a sticker on each of these, but they were just coming loose. So, another case. And this houses all of my Faber Castell. So I've got the one uh, 120 set before that I think I bought the I bought a 12 set and then I was buying open stock so I have got if I can find it I find you. it's on a different shelf these are all my backups like the ones that have come as doubles or the ones that I bought open stock before buying the full set that's brilliant. Yep, love these pencils. I'm still learning how to use them. You can see I use some more than others. Yep, a gorgeous set. And that's not meant to be in there. That's meant to be in my blending cup. Right. Um, I've got my Helix sharpener. I think this is going to be my Holy Grail sharpener. I really do love it. It's fantastic with both polys and prismas. I've not found any of them bright yet and I do keep it on the number one setting and that keeps them super duper sharp. My cup of gel pens, so I've got jelly rolls and I've got the Pentel. Pentel Hybrid Giro uh, Metallics and I've got the Spectrum Noir Sparkle Pens. I've got three of them. So that's that. This is the blending cup I was telling you about. So I've got burnishers, blenders, I've got blending stumps, I've got um, 
white gel pens, a fine black liner. This is just a normal pencil that I keep to sharpen, to use in the sharpener to keep it the blade sharp. Blending stumps, got two size Poscas, just white. A Faber Castell mini eraser. I think that is everything in here. Yep, just fine liners. That's everything. Well, there's what I need every single time that I colour. I don't need this every single time, but I've not found another place. I don't want to keep it in my drawer, I don't think, because I love it that much. So the glossy accents. So you just add it over colour pencil, over paint, over whatever you want, and it gives it a glossy effect. I used it over the pumpkins in my cat picture, and it's turned out fabulous. So I love that stuff. And it's not expensive. I think it was £5 for that big bottle. That's going to last me a long time. So I just keep swatches, swatch cards, right at the top. Just so it's handy. And the last thing at the top is, uh, it's just a sponge and I soak this in zest it. So I'll dip my stumps in here and use that to blend the pencil out. So that's everything in the first drawer. I just realized I called it a drawer. It's not a drawer, is it? It's a shelf. So the second shelf, I'll get it right this time. This case uh, came with the Marco Raffine pencils, so I took them out and popped them in a different case and I store all of my Neo Colour 2s. Um, I think I've got probably about 15 or 20 that I've not got, but looking at the colours, I'm happy with the collection that I've got. Um, I had the 30 set to start off with and then I've literally bought the rest open stock. So yeah, I'm chuffed to bits with them use them all the time a little bit on the pricey side one pound fifty per per crayon but i think they're well worth it next pencil case i bet you're sick of seeing pencil cases now houses my ink tents 72 set i got on amazon for a bargain price at the time it was on like the black friday deals i think it was yep in my, it's not actually a pencil case this, it's a makeup bag. I've got the Crayola Super Tips. I think this is the 50 set, I wanna say. It's, it's the bigger set. I don't know if it's 50 or 100, I can't remember. I don't use these all that often, but I like to have them there in my car, just in case I do fancy using them. Cause they're just an easy medium, I'm not worrying about um, shading or anything. Next pencil case is literally the Marco Raffines that I took out of the black case. Uh, I'll show you this next. My Winsor & Newton watercolours. I've not took this out for a little while and used it. I do need to show it a bit of love. So yeah, a really lovely, lovely colour selection. Oh, I've had a bit of a spillage there. I might have to redo the swatches for this. The only problem that I find with these, these move around. So I've made the swatch card and it's not actually accurate anymore. Um, I should have named them really. I think I was just being lazy. So this is just an empty tray that I use for acrylics. That's all that is. Got two more larger things on this tray. Pentel oil pastels. I find using the zest it with these works well. Backgrounds, so I've been practicing with them. They're all cheek out of place. But you do get a really good colour selection and they're not expensive at all, these on Amazon. You'll hear me mention Amazon a lot. I love Amazon. My soft pastels. I do have a love and hate relationship with these. I can go weeks with not using them. But I'm sure everyone has seen this brand, so I do keep the Q-tips, everything that I need with it, just on top, so it's not messy. But I have before, put them back in my shelf when it was up on my bookshelf, and not put this protective sleeve over, and they went everywhere. And if you've used a uh, soft pastel before, you know how much of a mess they can make. <laughs> I've learnt my lesson now, I always put the lid on. And the last thing... But to be honest, I think I'm going to give most of these away. PVA Glue, the only reason I got this is uh, a page that I was working on in Hannah Carlson's uh, Soulmate book. 
yeah, that's the only thing that I've used that for, but it's good to have PVA clay. And these are all a mixture between glitter gel pens, Vestal, normal. I really honestly don't tend to reach for these at all anymore, to be honest, with having the Jelly Rolls and the Pentel hybrid ones. Uh, so I might have to just take these to a charity shop. Somebody else will uh, love them, won't they? So the next shelf, yeah, so this next shelf holds um, all my alcohol markers and the budget friendly pencils. So I've got Le Mouchier, the skin set, the 24. I've only got 23 now, one of them's already ran out. I really do enjoy these markers. And I've got a small skin set of the Winsor & Newton brush markers that I just keep in here, so they can all fit in here perfectly. The 80 count of Ohuhu markers. To be totally honest, I'm a bit disappointed with these. I've been using them uh, sparingly and some of them are actually dried up already. I mean, I've kept the lids on, I've kept them stored this way so that the ink doesn't uh, go to one side of the barrel. I don't know what's going on there. Um, if, I, if I do get more alcohol markers, I probably will stick to the Le Mouchier brand. I like the nib on them a little bit better than the Ohuhu. I've got the Spectrum Noir pastel set. These are really beautiful markers, really, really beautiful shades. The only reason that I bought these is because the Ohuhu didn't offer any light shades that were considered pastel, really. So, yeah, they're beautiful. I've got the full set of the Castle Art pencils. I'm still working, at working with these. I've worked with them a handful of times and I do find them a little bit scratchy. Um, I did check out all the reviews online and everyone was saying how beautiful they blend. Maybe it's just me, I'm a little heavy handed. Um, but I do find them a little bit scratchier. I will go back to trying them. I think if I ever um, wanted to take a pencil set away, I'd probably take these or my Black Widows because then if something would have happened to them, I won't be too upset. So that's the full set of them. I bought that case separately as well. It didn't come with it. All the cases I bought separately. And the very last thing is the Black Widows. So I've got, I can't remember the set. Is it Scorpion? Scorpion, the spider one. Oh, I can't remember. The, the original three sets anyway. Uh, Cobra, that was it, the snake. Uh, yeah, the original three sets are all this bit. And then the two skin sets are all back here. I do prefer, I will show you why, I do prefer the skin sets, the way that they've done the design, purely because they've got the colour on the end and the actual nib of the pencil, is that what it's called, the nib, is a lot thicker, so they don't break as easily. They're not my favourite, but they're not the worst in my collection. So like I said, I'll probably take these or the Castle Arts away with me. I'm just looking over at my boot shelf now and I'm pretty certain that's everything. I have got um, a tray lap. It's like a pillow underneath it with a tray on top and a light that I use sometimes when I'm sat at the sofa. But I think that is more or less everything that I've got to do with colouring. So I hope you enjoyed this updated version of all my colouring supplies and I'm hoping maybe next week that I will get an updated colouring book supplies, um, not supplies, collection, colouring book collection. I'm muddling myself up. So I hope you to see you in the next one. Bye.